Uh, let tau k be the maximum total delay of any path from node k to the end. Um, it is very clear that if k itself is the end, then tau k is zero, apparently. So assuming that a node k has p outgoing links to the next node, from, uh, for example, j1 or jp, as we can see here in the figure, xk is here. The next step, it may go to xj1 or xj2 or xj3 or xjp. And uh, the next step <coughs> is to evaluate tmax at the node ji. It may be j1, j, uh, it may be j1 or jp uh, with max, a total maximum uh, function like uh, defined by this. So we can see that tau k is actually determined by the next step, total uh, maximum delay. So by using this idea, this, this is a recurs recursion idea. So by this idea, the problem can be uh, reformulated. So using the idea from the previous slide, it, show, it follows that the tau k is determined by the ne uh, by all the possible by all the possible next node, and uh, this is the an es essential idea in dynamic programming. By using recursion, we can express the original problem as follows, as in the formula four. So by by this re uh, re reform, the problem. Uh, although it is not a convex problem directly, uh, in the textbook it will it can be tr uh, transformed into convex convex problem which can be solved easily. So this is the whole part of my topic. Uh, that's all. Thank you.